Hey guys, I wanted to get out a quick message. Um, it's a message that I think I have to listen to myself. Um, it's an important message and it's something that, uh, you know, I want to tell all of you that are trying to trade a funded account. You're trying to trade for like a top step or another company. Um, you got to You got to treat even your, even your, your demo stage or your, your, uh, like before you get funded. Every time that you take a trade, you got to ask yourself, would I take this trade live? Would I take this exact trade if, if all of this were real? And by doing that, you will cut out a lot of the, um, you'll cut out a lot of the bad trades that you probably know that you shouldn't be taking. And a lot of like the iffy trades where you're not really sure what the market is doing. So guys, in this message, I wanted to tell y'all that let's say that you're an active day trader and you're trying to day trade, you know, pretty frequently, right? Flat is a position. Now, is flat a position if you've never day traded before and you, you're not day trading anyways? No. But if you are an active day trader, if you do trade and you are intentionally flat, that is a position. And you're waiting. You're just waiting because you don't really know what the market, frankly, is doing. And you don't know. You don't need to know what the market is doing at all times, guys. You only really need to know what the market is doing um, sometimes, basically. So I think that a lot of the losses that I have taken, uh, it's just because I'm kind of a lot of the trades that I'm taking. It's like I think the market should do this, but I'm not exactly sure. And then, you know, oftentimes it's like the losses I'm taking are like during the Asian session. Um, or just sort of, you know, 50-50 trades where I'm not exactly sure. So, guys, wait. Just just wait. If you really don't know what the market is doing, that's fine. Just stay flat. Just wait. Um, wait until you have a pretty clear idea what the market is doing, what it should do. And there's nothing wrong with being flat. Flat is a position. And you should treat your combine just like you would real cash. Um, that's something that I have not been doing. That's why I'm still struggling to be a profitable day trader. I've not made that any secret. Guys, you should see, sometimes I have really good trades and then I make a bunch of stupid mistakes. Uh, I've cut out a lot of the stupid mistakes, but not all of them. And so I still take outsized losses because I haven't really cut out all the stupid mistakes. One of my most common mistakes is that I'm entering in the market when I don't really have a clear PD array. So I don't have a real entry mechanism. I'm just smashing the market because I think it should do this. Well, guys, you need an entry mechanism as well. Like you you got to have a PD array that is pretty clear to you what it is. So if you don't have a PD array uh, or a pattern that you're familiar with, you don't see it, you just stay flat, guys. So anyways, um, along with the risk management, along with cutting out a lot of the really stupid mistakes, like trying to trade an economic release, trying to trade the New York Open, trying to trade FOMC day, except maybe at the very end of the day, um, like the last hour of trading on that, on like today's Wednesday, you could probably, you know, that'd be okay. Um, but no, guys, like another stupid mistake is that you just, if you just don't know what the market is doing, just stay flat. You, 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 you know, just stay flat until you get a clear signal, guys. That's it. So unfortunately, I, I did have to reset the account again because, you know, uh, I, I'm a very good trader when I'm confident that I know what the market is doing and then and then you know I'm break even at best uh, overall I'm a break even trader to a losing trader because of all the stupid mistakes that I make um, but when I'm on when I'm doing really well I mean you've seen my executions I, I I'm a damn good trader when I'm on and when I'm seeing what the market is doing but I'm not such a good trader when I can't you know I can't believe what the market is doing or I'm doubting, like, I think it should do this, you know. Like, for example, we're looking at a market right now that's really frustrating me because it's, what it's doing is it's pushing all the way through this uh, inefficiency during the Asian session. It might get all the way up to 710. I don't really know. Could get up to the 75%, could turn around here at the 50, but it's working through this inefficient price delivery right now, and drawing up to that buy side liquidity at 710. But I don't know if it's going to deliver that or not. Frankly, I'm I'm assuming that if it gets up to 710, it will then come back down a new day opening gap. And that's kind of my working theory. So anyways, with that being said, guys, um, if the move has already happened or whatever, you just a lot of waiting, a lot of waiting. Uh, if you can't believe what the market is doing, you have like a, a disbelief, like you just can't believe it. Is it the right time? Like, I don't know. Stay flat. 
If you don't have an entry mechanism, stay flat. If it's, you know, economic release, flat. New York Open, flat. You're just waiting for the for the, those best setups, guys. The, you, you really, a lot of profitable day trading is not winning trades. It's cutting out the bad trades. It's cutting out the, the garbage. It's cutting out the stupidity. It's cutting, it's, that's really where the, the bread is buttered, guys. It's not the winning trades. It's cutting out the losing trades. It's cutting out the mistakes. You know what I'm saying? And then you build up, you build up from there, but you stop the bleeding first. You know, one of the things that I'm doing, like I said, is entering in the market without a real entry mechanism, which is dumb. I mean, I know a lot of entry mechanisms, and I, I really, anyways, I, I really don't do well during Asia, usually. Uh, Asia up to London. I start doing better during London, and I do really well during the New York session probably because the market is moving, it's faster feedback. But uh, anyways, that's that's kind of been my quick quick message, guys. Flat is a position. Learn to wait. Cut out the, stop the bleeding, basically. If you stop the bleeding, if you learn to just turn your chart off and stay flat and just wait, you'll do a lot better, guys, which is really hard because I'm an active day trader and I love watching the chart, but it's also frustrating at times, like right now, the market is in a very frustrating mode for me where it's it's just lethargically grinding higher and I think it's drawing up to 7, 10, 50 but it, I don't, you know, it's so slow I don't know how long it's going to take to get up there. It might not get up there at all. It could just turn around here at that 50%. I don't know. So, Anyways guys, this has been my video on stopping the bleeding.